Hey Crossroads kids, great to be back together again. We are learning that we can trust, see I'm holding on tightly to something, we can trust God. The first week we learned that we can trust God even when we don't understand. Then we learned that we can trust God because God keeps his promises. And today we're gonna learn that we can trust God because God is in control. Sometimes I want to be in control. Sometimes I go my own way. Remember, that's called sin. I go my own way and I try to force something to happen the way I want it to happen. But the good news is, is that God is in control and he will never let me down. That's such good news. Well, today in our Bible truth, we're still in the book of Genesis. So I want you to get out your Bible and you're gonna to go to Genesis chapter 25. And we're gonna read a story today about a mother and son who tried to force something to happen instead of letting God be in control. Instead of letting God do it God's way, which is always the best way. So get your Bibles out, Genesis 25, 19 through 26 and verse 27. I want you to hit pause on the video, read that either with your family or your friends or your siblings, Read that in the Bible for yourself. And then when you come back and hit play, we've got another message for you from Ray, our manta ray. We'll see you soon. Hello, I'm Ray. And I'm a giant manta ray. Even though manta rays are pretty big, we're also pretty chill. And don't worry about that tail, it's not a stinger. That would be on my cousin, the stingray. Giant manta rays are also related to sharks. But trust me, I'm not tricky or dangerous. I just like to glide through my days without much fuss. You might hang out with your friends. <laughs> well, I float around with mine. Sometimes my friends and I eat together in a group called a squadron. As we swim, my friends and I use fancy fins near our mouth to scoop up little tiny snacks called zooplankton. Mmm, just eaten on the go. In the Bible, you can read about two brothers who got into a fight over food and a prayer of blessing. One brother even tricked his dad. He pretended to be the other brother and gave his dad a special meal. I'd never pretend to be one of my relatives. No way. Have you ever been stung by a family member? Maybe your feelings were hurt when a brother didn't want to play with you. Or you were really mad when your sister took your last piece of birthday cake. No, that was for you. Even when people don't get along, you can trust God and know that He's in control. In the Bible book of Psalms, chapter 33, verse 4, it says, For the word of the Lord holds true, and we can trust everything He does. When people are mean, you don't need to take matters into your own hands. Instead, you can trust God. God is in control. So, take a deep breath and glide away from arguments or disagreements. God will help you. <sighs> we can trust God. Man, what a story! That family really struggled. There was a lot of sin in that family. But God was still in control. Rebecca knew that God had promised the blessing to Jacob. But instead of letting God take care of it, God's way, she tried to force it her own way. And that led to all sorts of problems, all sorts of broken relationships. And remember, that's what sin does. Sin breaks relationships. It breaks our relationships with each other and it breaks our relationship with God. And that was the consequence that we see for this family. 
But here's the good news. Jacob and Esau's stories weren't over. And my story's not over. And your story's not over. And even when we forget God, and we try to do things our own way, and we try to take control, God still loves us. And he is in control of our lives. We can trust God. Have a really great week, you guys. Don't forget, in fact, today I want you to tell five people a reason that they can trust God. Remember, we can trust God even when we don't understand. We can trust God because he keeps his promises. And we can trust God because God is in control. Got that? Find five people and tell them that they can trust God. Have a really great week, and we will see you back here next time.